In this video, we're going to cover the different infusion sets available for Tandem's family of insulin pumps and talk about some of the differences between them. The infusion set gets its name because it's where the insulin from your pump is actually infused into your body. Infusion sets have three main components. One, the cannula, which is the part of the infusion set that's inserted in your body. Two, the tubing and connector needle. Three, the tubing lock connector. The biggest difference between infusion sets is the cannula. There are three different types of cannulas. Angled. Angled sets are designed to be inserted at an angle of 20 to 45 degrees relative to your skin, with a cannula length of either 13 or 17 millimeters. These cannulas are made of a soft plastic and can either be manually inserted or used with an insertion device. 90 degree soft sets. 90 degree soft sets are inserted at a right angle and come with either a six or nine millimeter soft, flexible plastic cannula. Some are manually inserted and some come with an insertion device. Stainless steel. Instead of a flexible plastic cannula, these sets use an ultra thin 29 gauge steel needle inserted at a 90 degree angle. Steel sets are inserted manually. They are available with a six or eight millimeter needle. Since the needle serves as the cannula, these sets do not require a cannula fill. When selecting tubing length, think about where you plan to wear your pump and where you plan on inserting your cannula. You should discuss cannula site options with your healthcare provider to find the sites that best meet your needs. It's important to rotate your insertion sites, so you may find it helps to have different tubing lengths. For example, if you have your set on your abdomen and your pump clipped to your waist, 23 inch tubing may be enough. But if your pump is in your pocket and your set is on the back of your arm, you may want longer tubing. Different people find different sites absorb insulin differently, so it's a good idea to watch your blood sugar closely after you change sites. It's also important to rotate your site placement. Infusing insulin into the same area can change the way that tissue absorbs insulin over time. Most commonly recommended sites are the upper arms, abdomen, hips, upper buttocks, and thighs. Your healthcare provider should help determine the best sites for you. When using the abdomen, make sure to avoid areas that could constrict the site, such as belts or waistlines. You should also choose a site at least two inches from your belly button and avoid placing sites directly on scars, moles, stretch marks, or tattoos. Also, if you wear a continuous glucose monitor, check if the manufacturer has any instructions about how close the sensor can be to an infusion set. No matter what set you use, it's important to change it according to your healthcare provider's instructions. Typically, this is at least every three days for soft cannulas and two days for steel sets. Exceeding these times increases your risk for tissue damage, scarring, infection, and high blood sugar. We hope you found this video helpful. If you still have questions about infusion sets, please contact customer support at 877-801-6901. They're available 24 hours a day and happy to help.